Hey guys, it's the Silicon Cloud thing and today and so it's Monster Legends Analysis video. We're going to be going over Killamancer and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get him out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Killamancer is available right now inside of a breeding event, so he's very easy to get, and his role is a denier. And then his traits are a resurrection block and team possession immunity, which is okay. And then trait protection and then torture immunity, which is definitely his best one. Torture immunity is the only one that really matters here. And then his relics are staff and mask, which are both pretty good. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, he has a decent support move. He also has access to Nightmares, Universe, and Stamina Leak, which are all pretty great, actually. He also has a move that bypasses Dodge Area, which is really cool. He has nice speed and relics, he has low cooldowns and stamina costs, and he has metal and a light meta. So yeah, all those things are pretty great. And if you're wondering what Nephil is, that move gives True Vision a 50% stamina restore and Team Celestial Paradise Hater for zero stamina, which is pretty cool. And then the move that bypasses Dodge Area is Pandemonium, and that is the possession and AoE possession, because it also does single target, so it will not be affected by area dodge, which is very cool. I do love that a lot. And then his cons are Dark dark in a light meta very situational hater only possession for denial no per or td access which is kind of annoying atrocious life situational trait except status caster which is very true torture immunity is just a status caster so they can get rid of it really easily and there's no way to reapply it and he's easily denied by everything except possession because he only has possession block or team possession immunity that is so yeah, those cons are kind of big problems, but let's go on down to the moveset to see if it's any good. So we did already look in a feel, and you can pick either that, or you can pick a nanovirus with stamina leak, which is also pretty good, actually. And then you also have a possession AoE possession that we already looked at. You have a possession nightmares, which is pretty good. And then an AoE and nanovirus stamina leak, which is pretty great as well. So his moveset is pretty good. He has some decent moves. He has that support move, which is pretty good, but that is a very situational move right there, because you would have to be against Celestia paradise monsters for it to be really great but you do still get the true vision and 50 percent stamina restore which is pretty decent but the best part is definitely the celestial paradise hater if you're against monsters in that book but yeah if you do want to use a single target move down here that is still pretty great and yeah he just has some pretty decent moves he's not a super amazing monster but he is inside of a breeding event right now so that is very easy to do so you should still definitely try to get him but just remember he's not super great and yeah that is pretty much all i have to say about killamancer let me know down in the comments what you guys think though and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye